Hey guys, it's me. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to come on really quickly. Of course, I have to show you Hero of the Day, right? So this is the Hero of the Day. Look how big it is. Look at this, y'all. I am like so loving it. These are Cocoon Curls. And to do this style, I um, actually used Camille Rose products. You guys know I have had the Almond Jai product for a while. And um, so I just used that along with some products that had already been in my head, uh, my hair. Um, and the tutorial was coming up and um, so keep an eye out for it but yeah this is essentially it, Cocoon Curls and I love this because look how big my hair is I am quite amazed because it's hard for us fine haired girls to get volume right so in any event um, the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to do a really really quick update for you um, regarding my experience with Camille Rose uh, it's ironic I mentioned them earlier in this video but um, you guys know if you watch my channel that last month I attended an event of theirs and it was, you know, not necessarily, it wasn't really what I expected. It was um, a disappointing experience. Uh, but I really wanted to take the time, you know, after a lot of thought to kind of share with you guys what happened and to do that in a really constructive, kind of positive way. Um, and because I didn't want to you know, I like their product. Like, you know, I I use the Almond Jai butter and my daughter uses it. We both use it and love it. And so it's not like I don't like their products. I don't want to tear apart their brand or anyone else's. Um, but I think it's important that we lift up products, um, experiences, events that we really, really like. And that we also talk about some of the challenges we experience as well because that's how we become better, right? Um, but when we talk about some of the not so good stuff, I think it's important to do that in a constructive way, um, which I think I really accomplished um, in my video from last month or earlier this month. I can't remember when I put it up. But that was definitely my heart and my intention and kind of where I was coming from uh, with regard to even making that video. So imagine my surprise when I received an email from Camille Rose. Yes! <laughs> so I received an email. They reached out to me on Twitter and then Instagram. And I got the Twitter thing. It was really late when I got the notification. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I think they mentioned it was concerning the video. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh, you know. And then they reached out to me on Instagram, and again, it was like really late, and I'm like, oh my God, like, are they going to ask me to take it down or, you know, be upset with me and all that kind of stuff. So I did write uh, to them. They uh, requested my contact information, and about a day or two later, I received an email from their marketing department. And I have to tell you that, you know, like I said, last month, I had a very strong reaction to that event, and it you know, it just wasn't a good experience. It was a disappointing, you know, experience. But um, I also had a very strong reaction to this email I received from their marketing director. And, you know, while well, the, 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 the experience at the event was very a very negative one, the experience I had or the reaction I had to this letter I received or email I received was extremely positive. Like I was so impressed with them as um, an organization, um, as a company, and this particular individual, their marketing director, you know, just as a person. Her, the, the email was really, really quite thoughtful. And, um, you know, one of the challenges I said was that I didn't necessarily feel respected or valued as a supporter. Um, of you know of the brand you know as a result of that experience, uh, experience even though I love 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 the brand and I and and you know things happen right um, but in reading her email I she just did a really great job it was great to just receive that email and it made me feel very valued as a, a, a supporter of the brand and as a consumer. And so she just shared that, you know, they were taking steps so that, you know, no other consumers would have that same experience. And they were really saddened to hear about my experience and shared the information throughout the company and spoken to the representative who was responsible for that, that particular event. And, um, 
you know, taken some other steps that, you know, ultimately made me feel like, you know, this is really how we as businesses should embrace feedback. I'm disappointed I had that experience, but I am, um, uh, but I received confirmation, you know, just on a personal level that, you know, communication is so important, how we communicate things and the spirit in which we communicate things, um, I think makes all the difference. And, um, so, you know, it, it, I just wanted to kind of wrap this experience up in a bow, kind of share with you guys, you know, what happened. I want to share the good and the bad, right? So, um, yeah, the initial experience, you know, it was a challenge. And that happens. Things like that happen, right? Um, and um, I was just really impressed with the manner in which Camille Rose handled it. I really appreciate the time they took to send me a um, an email um, to let me know that my observations and my feedback um, had been, you know, that they received it, that they saw it, um, and uh, were taking steps to ensure that all of their customers feel valued and um, appreciated. I have talked myself into being tired, so I will talk with you guys later. Keep an eye out for the um, for the video for this uh, these cocoon curls. And I'll talk with you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.